Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm using, I'm being guided to use my diary deck today. This is memories from my own life um, that hold meaning. I'm constantly adding to it. It's a work in progress, but um, ooh, somebody wants to escape a situation or just wanting to get out of your head maybe. Anyway, this reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, yeah. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, subscribes, comments, um, everything, the love. Thank you so much for everything, you guys. All right, yeah, somebody is getting out of a situation here, jumping out a window. This is an escape, okay? Um, I had to do this one time because I was being chased by somebody who wanted to do something really bad to me, okay? So I had to jump out a window um, to get away. And they may not even know where to go, okay? There's a, there's a person here that's getting out of a, a dangerous um potentially threatening situation here i feel like they thought that they could handle it okay whatever this is they thought they could handle it um but it end up having really bad results for them okay um yeah and something's happened to this person that's hurt them very deeply and it's just the straw that broke the camel's back you know maybe this could be this could possibly be your energy as well wanting to like i said wanting to just get this out of your mind this thing that hurt you so bad um but i feel like for some of you maybe you're having a hard time releasing right and honestly, I'll tell you, releasing takes forgiveness. It takes us, um, it, it, we have to be able to forgive the unforgivable without even getting an apology for it. I feel like a lot of you have been waiting to see justice. Um, you know, you may not even want to forgive somebody. You just want to see justice done for how badly you were hurt. Okay, because this is something that really broke you, or this is somebody something that really broke somebody. So put yourself where you have to in this reading, okay? It's either about you or about someone else. I feel like it's really whatever this is is taking its toll. It could be like a lot of people hurting somebody, you know, through time, and this is just the straw that broke the back, right? Um but I feel like somebody here has to release something and, and either get out of a situation or get out of your head. Um, and like I said, this could be for you or for someone else, okay? Or it may not resonate with you at all, you know, and that's okay. Um, I feel like trust has been broken. I feel like maybe you're having a hard time opening up your heart to love again okay whatever this is it's definitely broken someone's trust um maybe it's made somebody feel like they don't know if they'll ever be able to trust someone again okay i feel like too much has been done here to somebody and they never got their justice for it okay um and somebody's having a hard time releasing whatever this is because it's it's hard to give forgiveness to, for something unforgivable when you never like some of you never got even so much as an apology um for what's been done to you okay and i feel like you know um there's you're a fighter with tiger here you're a fighter i'm also feeling like you were um you were underestimated here or maybe even misunderstood Okay, I feel like you've had to fight for yourself against people that hurt you for no reason. All right. So, yeah, um, and you continue to fight. You know what I mean? In your own mind, you fight, you're, you're internally kind of fighting with yourself here um, because you, it's like you want to see justice done, but, it's, but you're not seeing it. And it's ha you're having a hard time releasing because you don't want to feel this pain anymore. You're fighting for yourself here. But um, I feel like um, forgiveness. And honestly, forgiveness is for you. And I feel like that's what it's going to take um, for whoever this is 
to start coming back to your old, maybe not your old self again. There were things about us all that we had to change. Okay, a lot of us don't want our old selves back. I, I don't. I don't want my old self back. I like having my boundaries up. You know what I mean? I like knowing who I can trust and who I cannot. And I, I, I like being able to release toxic people from my life. So use your discernment, right? Use your intuition. But I feel like you're really, um, you know, that you want to be able to trust people again. You want to be able to have a, an, an open heart that doesn't hurt anymore. You know, I feel like you just don't want to live in your in your mind in a battlefield anymore. Okay, for whoever this is for. And I just made somebody cry. I'm so sorry. Um, but, you know, in order to, yeah, look, PTSD. You've got PTSD from everything that's been done to you. Too much has been done. Or you've seen people have inflicted way too much pain onto you. And it's, it's, it's been very difficult for you to deal with. Do you know, um, my name is Rebecca, okay? But I go by Becca now, okay? Because you know what? Um, I was with someone who used to, leave, used to scream my name at the side of my, Rebecca! Like they would say it just like that, okay? For years, I could never do anything right by this person. And all they did, that's every way they said my, every time they said my name, they said it like that, like it was a curse word. Now, to this day, I can't stand my own name. So because of that PTSD from that experience, I have people call me Becca. And that's the new and improved me. And now I know when I hear my name being shouted from across the parking lot, you know, Rebecca, you know, I know it's somebody from my past that I probably don't want to see. Whether it's the person that gave me the PTSD or not, if it's somebody from my past, they're probably going to be out. Okay? So, you know, I mean, take it how it resonates, but I feel like it, it could be something as small as how someone said your name. But whatever this is, um, you've, you've got shell shock from it. You've got PTSD. It's been extremely damaging. Do you know how deeply damaging that is? And I feel like you just don't want to feel this way anymore. I may, I'm making you cry. I am so sorry. You don't want to feel this way anymore for whoever this is for. But the only way to release it, right, and come back to a place of peace Come back to when you could laugh again, right? Come back to when you could um, all of a sudden think to yourself, geez, I haven't thought about this pain in a week, right? You know, uh, I, the only way to do that collective is by forgiving the unforgivable in your own mind, in your own heart, you know, and, and realize that it was, it was never you with the problem, Whoever hurt you, they're the ones who have the problem. And I'm betting you right now that they've got their own brand of PTSD. Hurt people hurt people. That's how it goes. Hurt people hurt people. And then they seem to walk away and they, you feel like they've gotten away with it. And there's no apology. There's no care. There's no consideration, right? That's how, that's how you're made to feel, and you feel angry, you feel frustrated. Like, I could never hurt somebody the way they hurt me. So how come they're not getting justice? Believe me, they are. You know why? Because they have a conscience. We're all born with a conscience, and I'm telling you, their conscience is working overtime here because they know what they've done. People know what's between wrong and right here. They know what they've done to you has been miserable and horrible. Okay, and I'm telling you that conscience is eating them alive. It is. They're going to be living that every day. Their memories and their mind isn't going to be able to let it go. Why? Because they're unable to heal from their own PSD. But you can heal from yours realizing that hurt people hurt people, it's their problem, it was never yours. 
and then that's when you can forgive okay that's when you can forgive and only when you can forgive on your own the unforgivable is when you can truly release okay you know, and some of you may be saying, well, you know, I haven't gotten any closure in this. Let me tell you a story. There was one time when I thought closure was so important, right? It was so important. So I, I called an ex-boyfriend and I said, we have to meet, right? So we met at this place um, and um, I told him how I felt about how he had treated me and what he had done. This was years and years and years ago, okay? <laughs> this was a long time ago. Um, and he was kind of shocked that I was sitting there talking to him about this. He did apologize. He did say he fully regretted it, you know. I gave him a necklace back that he gave me. But I'm telling you, I got my closure that night, but in the end, really, it didn't help me. It didn't help. The only thing that helped is when I could forgive that person on my own, in my own heart, in my own mind, in my own time. And then I was truly able to release him and the pain, okay? Not him, but the pain. We had been broken up. But, I mean, that's trying to get closure from someone, looking back to see if they're suffering, none of that is going to help you. I'm telling you that right now, none of that is going to help you. What's the only thing that's going to help you is to forgive the unforgivable on your own and realize these people, they're the hurt ones that are running around hurting people. But I'm telling you, their conscience, it won't let them forget this ever, okay? Rest assured on that. We all have a conscience. That's to keep us in line. You know? And it's not going to let them it's it's not going to let them forget this. Um I'm up here on the telephone pole. I feel like you know what? No matter what, your number one this could be your ancestors. This could be your spirit guides trying to talk to you. They're constantly talking to you. I feel giving you pretty much the same message. You leave the karma to the divine. Don't turn around and look back. Okay? Keep moving forward. Stay in your own lane. Mind your own business. All right? Because the divine, I'm telling you, the divine and this person's conscience, it's, it's, uh, it's going to teach them their own lessons in their own time. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And you've been really taken advantage of you have you've been taken advantage of but here's the here's the kicker um the more you think about this and the more you are like craving that justice which is fair all you want is some fairness okay that's all you want you want fairness you want respect okay but the longer you feed that the worse it is for you the worse it is for you. Because you know what, the, the, when, you, when, when you continue every day, right? When you wake up and you move through your day and you're like, I wish I had my justice. I just want people to be fair to me. How come they hurt me and they're getting away with it? If that's what you're thinking about every day, it's, it's on, you're unable to live your own life and you're just feeding that anger. And when, it's not even anger, it's anger, frustration, upset, sadness, the, the feeling of not being able, not being treated fairly, right? You, di you, weren't, you didn't get your fairness, you know? But when you wake up and that's, that's what you're thinking about still, okay? It festers inside of you. It does. It can fester inside of you. So another, another good thing about releasing and forgiving is that it no longer hurts you inside. I mean, you'll get physical ailments from this, you know? The longer we harbor that pain and that frustration, knowing we were treated unfairly, that's when it starts causing major issues in your life. 
So I feel like it's really important. Yeah, the gray cutoff. It's very important to release, just release. Forgive in order to release. That forgiveness is for you. It's going to help you to live a healthier life. You're going to be able to laugh again. And in time, you'll be able to trust again. And when you can trust again and laugh again, and you're not dragging, it's not even carrying the burdens anymore. You're dragging them with you. Like, I'm not letting this go. I'm dragging this with me, right? You can't find the right, the right connection for you if you're not truly ready because it's just not going to work. And the divine knows that, okay? And plus, if you're harboring negative energy um, from the things people have done to you in the past, you can't attract the good things to you. You're going to only be attracting more negative. You guys can look it up. It's called the Law of Attraction. You can Google it. The, the energy that you put out and the energy that you hold, you attract more of that. So, you know, in, I've mentioned now three different areas where forgiveness is going to help you. Who cares if it helps somebody, you know, the person who, who hurt you? You know, if they're getting their karma, let them get their karma on their own. You know, when they walked away from you and hurt you, they treated you like they didn't care. So go out there and live your life. You know, go out there and laugh. You know, look at some beautiful things. Go out into nature, get grounded. You know, go live your life. And leave the karma to the divine. Do your forgiving, right? Forgive as much as you can even if it takes a little bit every day as you know when you get that frustrating feeling you know like you didn't get your fairness you didn't get the respect you deserve think about it man these people they have their own brand of ptsd who knows what they went through in life in childhood you may even know about what they went through in childhood but you can't see it from their eyes you can't feel it from their heart. And they've been harboring this their whole life, some of them. Some of them, it's childhood trauma that they went through, and that's why they mistreat people. You know? But those are things that they have to heal on their own. The problem is with them. It's not with you. It's with them. Your problem, collective, and I love you, but your problem is that... You, d you haven't figured out how to forgive that unforgivable man because it's just not fair. It's not. I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly on that. It is not fair. But at some point, at some point for you, right, you have to let go of the past pains that people have caused you. You know, realize that they're the ones with the problem and they need to do their own healing. It shouldn't affect you. It's not fair to allow it to keep affecting you. You're absolutely right. You know? So I feel like, I feel like what you need to do is forgive on your own. And that's kind of like a, a state of mind. That's something that I feel like you need to practice at little by little. <laughs> you know? Little by little, you're going to feel better. But you have to get up every day and say, you know, they didn't know. They didn't know who they were hurting. They didn't know what they were doing. And if they did, they did it because they're hurting inside. And until they reach inside and heal from that, they're going to continue to hurt other people. You're, not, you're probably not the only one they've hurt. Okay? Think about that, too. You're not the only one that they've hurt. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like um, you need to cut you need to cut off not just the people from your past that have hurt you, but y you need to cut off the thoughts of this every day that bother you. You need to you need to um, cut the lines right of the burdens that you're carrying or dragging, right? Um, you need to wake up every day and practice forgiveness 
until you get really good at it because it's a hard thing to it's a hard thing to do but I'm telling you you'll get there you know I feel like that's how you'll escape from this pain it's the only way you'll escape from this pain some of you will never get an apology out of some of these people okay you know some of them have been damaged so bad in the past that they just they don't know how to treat others you know and for that you for you can forgive them for what they do not know you know and I, I know you didn't deserve what was done to you you didn't um, and just know these people they they actually hurt maybe the one person who could heal them who could make them feel better if you nurtured and truly loved this person who hurt you yes they hurt the one person that could have loved them so much it would have healed them and without their healer they're just out there still hurting inside do you see what I'm saying <laughs> you know know your importance and, you know, honestly, I've been told, too, you know, some of these people hurt you because they think you'll never leave their life. You always hurt the ones you love, right? Because there's a comfort zone there, you know? People never think you'll actually ever be gone and leave them behind. And they're feeling that now. They're going to feel that cutoff. They're going to feel like they're out here without a safety net. Okay, just like they made you feel. So I don't know. I don't know who this is for, but I feel like um, I feel like you're getting the messages all around you. You know, get out there, enjoy your life, laugh, raise your vibrations. Right? We talk about it on tarot all the time, but you can feel it at a soul level. The divine doesn't want you suffering anymore. Because honestly, you're suffering, um, you're hurting because of some, something that somebody who's injured and, um, and hurt and um, damaged, you're, you're allowing them to keep, you know, to keep that pain going for you, right? I feel like you're out, you're protected out here. This is spiritual protection. I saw sudden wealth on the bottom of the deck. So you guys are working on your finances, your stability. Yeah, sudden wealth coming off of like um, bad hardships. Okay, this is poverty here. Not having anything to eat. And not having anyone to rely on to help you. Okay. I feel like those are that those times get to go get to be put in a box and set aside. You know, I feel like now it's time to leave behind all the things in your life that were unfair and reach for fairness, but only you can do that. You know, if this person came back and said they were sorry and you got your closure, you know, as long as you still hang on to that feeling of, you know, I shouldn't have been hurt in the first place, right? Um, why, why am I not getting any fairness, really? I mean, you're still going to end up feeling like that. Forgiveness is for you, and it has to start with you. You're the one who t has to take the first step in forgiving the unforgivable. You know, nobody, no apology, no, it could be the best dang apology in the world, but you have a choice of, of letting go or harboring it okay and I feel like if you harbor it if you continue to hang on and drag that burden um, it's just hurting you it's just hurting you collective okay yeah leaving people behind was the card on the yeah yeah it's just hurting you this is something that burns it stings for a very long time you know it's time for you to get out of that Okay, 
Anyway, collective, I don't know who this is for, and I'm sorry if I triggered you guys. Um, I'm sorry if I made you upset, but, you know, my job out here is to help people, so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, um, I do hope this helps, and I hope it resonates. And if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe, and until next time, everyone, take care of you, and peace out.